This is a brief overview of using DataCastle to achieve continuous data protection for all your important files. DataCastle opens to the simple main screen, displaying a summary on the left and buttons on the right. The summary tells you information regarding the vault, which is the name of the storage system where your protected data resides. You see the amount of vault storage used, your quota, and any amount pending upload. On the right, you see buttons for the four primary data castle functions Protect, Restore, View Activity, and Options. We start by clicking the Protect button in order to select the files we want to protect. You'll see the familiar Windows type file structure. You can collapse and expand any folder by clicking on the plus or minus sign. When we click My Files, you see the subfolders are now also displayed in the right panel. Selecting a folder, you then see the files within that folder. To pick files or folders for protection, all you do is select the checkbox to the left. Let's now select the first five files in folder A, all the files in folder B, and none of the files in folder C. After clicking Next, the Protection Summary screen appears. You then click Finish and return to the main screen. The summary now shows the backup job progress, displaying the shield with green check mark when it completes, indicating all your selected files are protected. The most important function of Data Castle is to restore files if they are deleted or corrupted, or if your computer breaks, is lost, or stolen. To demonstrate Restore, we'll use Windows Explorer to delete an important file that we then need to recover. Note that in Windows Explorer, the files in the My Files folder and subfolders are green. This is how Windows visually indicates that these files are protected using Data Castle's at rest encryption on your selected files, another one of the many Data Castle file protection features. For this restore example, let's delete file B01. We'll now open Data Castle and click the Restore button to start that process. The Restore screen opens, showing you all the files currently protected in the Vault storage system. Expanding the My Documents folders, we confirm that files A01 through A05 are protected, as are files B01 through B05. We want to restore file B01, so we select the checkbox next to it and then click Restore. In the left pane, you see the powerful restore options for versions. For this example, we'll select a version from a specific date and time. After clicking Next, you see the Restore options for file location. We'll restore B01 to its original location. Clicking Restore, we return to the Data Castle main screen. Once again, you see Summary Progress information, this time for the Restore job in progress. Reopening Windows Explorer, we see that the version of file B01 we selected was successfully restored. Returning to the main screen, we'll select the View Activity button in order to check the status of various jobs. On this screen, you see a chronological listing of all the jobs or tasks that Data Castle has performed. To see details, just click anywhere on the entry for that job. Clicking the File List button presents a list of all the files affected by this job.
At the top of the page are three helpful filter drop-down boxes, Date, Job Type, and Job Status. We'll look at all restored jobs performed on January 7th, and we see that there were three that day. We'll now go to the Protect feature and select a new file, A06, for protection. Then returning to View Activity and changing the filter settings, you can see the backup job in progress for file A06. When it is done, the status changes to Complete. Returning to the main screen, we select the Final button, Options. On the General tab, the first option is Backup Frequency, which defaults to every 15 minutes. You can change this to another time period in which to check for changes to your files. The next option is for the Notifier, which is the icon in your Windows system tray. Unless there is a very specific reason not to, always display the notifier, as it provides continuous status of your data castle protection. The final option is network utilization. The default is to use reduced network bandwidth to minimize the impact to your other network tasks. The other choice is to use all available network bandwidth, which uses as much of your network resources as possible. This can sometimes be helpful since it reduces the amount of time needed for backups and restores. Click OK and you will return to the main screen. You can close Data Castle anytime you aren't performing a task. It continues to run, providing you protection status with the System Tray Notifier, which is an important element of your protection. We'll display both the Notifier and the main screen. The shield with green check mark icon indicates all your files are protected and a job isn't performing. The icon and hover text will change whenever a job is in progress, letting you know the current status. If at any time you want to view more details, you can always open Data Castle by double clicking the notifier. Finally, on any screen you can click the Help File icon and view detailed instructions for any feature. We hope this brief overview has been helpful in seeing how simple it is to configure Data Castle to experience continuous data protection on your important files.